Lacey Duncan had adopted four sisters, determined not to let them be separated. So when the heartbreaking day arrived when she had to give them up, she was understandably devastated. However, just as she was beginning to cope with her loss, an unexpected phone call left her completely stunned. At 25, Lacey Duncan knew in her heart that she was meant to be a mom. With the traditional path to starting a family feeling out of reach, she made an incredible decision, she chose to pursue motherhood on her own. In an interview with People magazine, Duncan shared, marriage wasn't anywhere on the horizon for me at that point, so I took a step back and realized that was okay, I didn't need marriage. But I knew that if I didn't become a mom, I would regret it for the rest of my life. I knew I wanted to adopt, so I started looking into different ways to adopt, and I found foster adoption, and I thought that was really a great thing, starting a new family, so it was like a win-win for me. In June 2011, Duncan earned her certification to become a fully-fledged foster mother. With dreams of raising a boy, she waited patiently for a placement. Then, in September 2011, she received an exciting phone call that would turn her life upside down. I was certified in June and in September, I got a call in the middle of the night about four foster placements. Her adoption agency urgently needed someone for an emergency foster placement, but there was a catch. Duncan wouldn't be taking in one child or even two. She was being asked to open her home to four sisters, four little girls, ages five, two-year-old twins, and a 17-month-old. However, before the social worker had even finished speaking, Duncan said yes. I really can't tell you why I said yes. I just felt compelled to say yes, Duncan told People magazine. I interrupted the social worker and said yes. I didn't even consider not keeping them together. It was all or nothing for me. She welcomed the girls into her home that night. Duncan's four-bedroom house was suddenly filled with confusion and nervous energy. As she told parents, within a few hours, I had four very scared, very tired little girls running around my house in the middle of the night. However, with Duncan's parents' help, the kids soon settled in. In fact, the girls, five-year-old Sophia, two-year-old twins Natalie and Melanie, and one-year-old Kaylee, began to feel like part of the family. Duncan's mom, Jerry, explained to people, it was just a natural fit from the start. They attached to Lacey so quickly. One morning, for example, Duncan was readying Sophia for kindergarten when something touching happened. As she explained, the next morning, my oldest daughter asked me if I had any children. I told her no and she said, I can be your daughter. So that's kind of how our relationship started. It was a bond that quickly grew stronger. Duncan continued, Sophia asked what she could call me and I told her, my name is Lacey and you can call me whatever you want. By the time I dropped her off at school, she was introducing me as her mom. Nine months later, however, Duncan was heartbroken when she had to give the girls up after their biological mother regained custody. They were reunified with their biological mother, which was a very difficult process. Saying goodbye was hard. Still, the foster mother remained close to the girls. Thankfully, I had a relationship with her, and she promised to keep in touch, which she did. Their birth family allowed us to come for visits and babysit the girls whenever possible. We really missed them. Duncan tried to remain positive. As she told parents, I kept the faith that they would end up where they were supposed to, and in my heart, that was here. Then one month later, she received a phone call that would change her life forever. The call came from the girl's birth mother, who had a major request to make. About a month and a half later, she decided that it was just too much, and she wasn't able to give them the things she wanted to provide for them. It seemed the birth mother truly wanted what was best for her daughters, she asked Duncan if she would be willing to take them back permanently, but there was another twist. She asked me if I would adopt the four that I had fostered, plus baby sister number five, and I said yes, of course. Unbeknownst to Duncan, when she had fostered the girls almost a year before, there was a fifth sister. I fostered them for nine months. They had a baby sister, number five, who was one of the reasons they were removed. She went with another foster family, so I didn't have her immediately. Leia, the baby sister, stayed with a couple experienced with newborns. What the biological mother was asking of Duncan was significant, but she had clearly grown to trust her, seeing firsthand the bond her daughters had with their one-time foster mother. We started the process of them coming back to me. It took about a year for the termination of parental rights and the adoption to be finalized. 
I was shocked because that must have been a hard decision for her to make, Duncan told People. She'd have been considering it for a few weeks but was worried her family might judge her. For Duncan, the decision was easy and she never hesitated. On July 29, 2013, I became the proud mother of five daughters. Duncan recalled, they asked me if I was sure they were staying and I reassured them, you're adopted, you're home forever. But there was one final twist to this incredible story. During the adoption process, the girl's birth mother learned she was expecting a sixth child. In September 2013, baby Cecily joined her five sisters in the Duncan household. True to Duncan's promise of not separating the girls, little Cecily was also formally adopted. As Duncan shared with people, this was my children's sibling, so there was never a question about taking her in as well. Now 32, the single mom couldn't be happier. Keeping families together is so important. I try to put myself in their shoes. If I were separated from my sibling and didn't know them, it would be heartbreaking. Each year, the family celebrates Cecily's formal adoption as their honeyberry the special day that completed their family. My primary reason for keeping the girls together was to ensure they maintained that connection so they would always know where they came from and have a strong support system, Duncan explained. Now Safia, Natalie, Melanie, Kaylee, Leah, and Cecily all live with Duncan, a stay-at-home mom in Fresno, California. I have so much love for them, Duncan shared. I wouldn't trade the six of them for anything, it's an honor to be their mother. What are your thoughts on this story? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. Also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Stay tuned for our upcoming content. See you in the next video.